This video is going to be a little bit different from what I normally do. This isn't really tech related. This is more of like, how do I have time to grow a YouTube channel? I also have a family. I have two kids. I have a wife who's in heart failure and I have to do my normal responsibilities at my work, right? I work nine to five, I work eight hours a day. How do I find the time to basically publish videos almost every day? If you were to kind of scroll through these timestamps, we got December 27th, 26th, 24th, 21st, 20th, 18th, 15th. So it's not every single day. Sometimes it is every single day, but I do take little breaks once in a while I get burned out. Like here's a good example, September 30th, 29th, 28th, 27th, 26th, 25th, 23rd, 22nd. So some of you might not care, uh, but I did want to kind of share my process. And I think the easiest way to share the process is just walk you through what my current like day looks like, right? What does my current work day look like? Let me move my head down a little bit. If I were to go over the time, you'll notice that it's 12.02 a.m. right now. So I try to record all my videos at night when my children are falling asleep or have fallen asleep and uh, you know everyone's winding down. I have some extra time. I can try to record a video. Um, I want to kind of talk about this process. So during my work days, I usually try to wake up at 9. Sometimes I wake up at like 9.30, I'm not going to lie. And I work from home. Okay, So when I wake up late, I literally walk upstairs, I open my laptop, I start I start working. Now, some days I do wake up a little bit earlier, but this is my average. If I were to wake up at like um, eight o'clock, then sometimes I will try to record a video in the morning when I wake up at eight. But overall, I think this is the average time I wake up unless there's something I need to do, like get my kid ready for school on certain days. Um, then I'll wake up at like 7.30 or whatever. So from that time all the way to my lunch break. So let's say one o'clock PM is my lunch break. Go ahead and say lunch. I'll cook a meal or lunch. Um, sometimes I'll just hang out with wife or kids. Obviously my kids need to eat. So sometimes I'll help cook for everyone. I have cook twice here. Um, so let's just go and get rid of that. But, uh, and then after my lunch, so, you know, maybe 2 PM or 1:45, I go back to work. So go back to work. Maybe over here, it should say start work again. I don't know if you guys even care about this, but I, I've been asked multiple times, like, how do I manage my time to be able to produce so many videos? And this is basically it. And at a certain time, um, 5.30, depending on how long my lunch was, or like, you know, 5.30 to 6 p.m., that's when I get off of work. So done with work. Okay, so this whole entire chunk of time, like for the most part, I don't, I don't do anything with content creation. I don't have time to think about content creation. So I'm just going to go ahead and like block this off. Sometimes in my lunch break, I'll actually like run out to get lunch or run to the store. You know, if there's time, maybe I'll have to go to the pharmacy or something, run a quick errand. Um, but overall, this is the chunk of time where I cannot do content creation. Sometimes over here, if I have maybe, depending on I wake up, obviously this does not happen often, but depending on when I wake up, I might have time to do some uh, video here or there. Right, so after I get off work, this is basically time where I need to come downstairs and typically it's like I'm helping cook food, I'm helping with my kids, maybe I'll play with my kids. Maybe sometimes me and my wife have to go out and do something, like go run an errand or we'll go to the store. Um, so I'll just go ahead and put a marker of like, when is the prime time for me of where I start making content? So typically it's like from 1, 11 PM to 12 AM. That's when like I get my break to be able to actually make some content. Now during this time, again, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and like cook dinner. Uh, like for example, today I helped fold some laundry. So fold laundry, do dishes. Um, I also work out. During this time, like I've been running on my treadmill, I have been trying to do pull-ups and stuff. You know, so all the stuff that you have to basically do around the house. So I think people think I have a bunch of free time, um, but honestly, I don't. So what I end up doing, if I do find like little patches of time during this, uh, like if I don't know, I tell my wife to watch the kids for like 30 minutes because I want to record, sometimes I will have little patches of time, but ultimately, I just need 20 to 30 minutes to record a video, right? That's all I need. For example, this video right here, it might run 15 minutes long, 20 minutes long, and then I'll edit it down and chop out like five minutes. All right, so this is like my recording time. When I actually record the video, I sit down, I press the record button once, and I just ramble and talk and try to like let it evolve organically. And then at a certain point, um, at night, I'll just be sitting next to my wife, we'll be hanging out, maybe we'll watch a show together, uh, I'll rub her back and I'll go ahead and just say editing. So for recording, I'll just say 10 to 30 minutes. Like it just depends on how complex the thing is I want to record or talk about. But for the most part, it's pretty straightforward. And then editing, typically I take the length of the video and I divide it by two. 
right? So if it's a 30 minute video, I need at least 15 minutes to edit. If it's a 10 minute video, I need five minutes to edit. So length of recording divided by two because I watch it at two times speed and I just chop out all the parts where I think are bad or I mess up. And I can just do this in any of that time span, right? So, you know, sometimes I stay up to 1 a.m., honestly. I seem to work better at night than I do in the morning for some reason. Like my body's fully awake at this time, but like I struggle throughout this time. I do want to kind of talk quickly about how do I come up with a topic idea? So for example, tonight, since people ask me, how do I manage my time? I decided I want to make a video about time management. So as long as I have that idea, I can usually just sit down and just let this organically evolve into a video. Okay. So I know I want to diagram something out. I know I want the diagram to not just be in front of my screen. I want it to kind of, just, I want to work on it live with you all. Cause I think that's a lot more engaging. And as I'm kind of going through this, like when I started drawing these boxes and I started drawing like my start work, all these other ideas start coming to my head and I'll just record those in the video. And then finally, when the video is completely done, it just looks like I took a lot of time to plan it together. But honestly, like I just sat down, pressed the record button and started going. So that's how I'm able to basically churn out a video every day. It's I don't plan my videos. I just kind of talk and ramble. And it turns out that the editing down here makes the video sound really nice. And I don't think you guys want to sit down and watch me ramble for 30 minutes. Like if you saw a real unedited video of me trying to record my YouTube content, I think you would actually start questioning my sanity because there's so many times where I stop and I'll re speak something. I'll be like right there. I just mess up the word. There's many times that I'll stop and I'll rethink about how I want to discuss or explain something and I'll edit out the crappy part. Um, <laughs> so you guys don't get to see that. So after I do that, um, you know, maybe I'll do an outro, for example, like if you enjoyed watching, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I'll do a shout out for my Discord channel. And then also I'll say, have a good day, happy coding. I'll take this video and I'll load it up in my editor. Okay, so for editing, I use something called Shotcut. It's like a free open source tool. Um, and honestly, I just, let me go ahead and mute this. I just press L twice and that goes through the video at two times space. You can see how fast it's kind of going through this whole video. And then as I'm kind of like going through and listening to the video, if I see a spot that I messed up, I'll just go ahead and cut it, cut it, and then I'll just delete that, okay? And I'll keep going. You know, it sounds good. Maybe I'm saying something wrong. And this part, like I might cut this out and I'll cut this out because I messed up there. And I'll kind of just go through this. And then finally I'll export the video, upload it to YouTube. I'll think about a title and then I'll just kind of schedule it for 9 a.m. the next morning. Now, one thing you might've noticed for my channel is I don't do thumbnails. Honestly, I just don't have the time. Like if I wanted to do thumbnails, I would add an extra probably 10 minutes to all my videos. And again, my idea is like get content out there as much as possible. Although having a nice thumbnail is probably gonna increase my click-through rate. I think my channel has like a niche now where People are used to seeing just like a YouTube picked snapshot of what is going on. And when you see the thumbnails that YouTube picks for me, 95% of the time, it's exactly what I'm going to be doing the video, right? So it just feels more honest that you see me in like a, you know, red shirt and then you click the video and it's me literally talking about this diagram with you all. So the very last thing I want to talk about is like ideas. Um, how do I come up with all these ideas? Uh, usually since I'm working eight hours a day writing code, this is my main idea generator. Okay. If you're working eight hours a day, coding eight hours a day, that's a huge chunk of time that you can generate ideas. So you run into a bug, try to turn it into a content, right? Find a way to reshape that so you can make a video and talk about it. Now, also during this time, I work on little side projects, right? I have like different SaaS products I'm trying to work on. Maybe I have little community projects I'm working on. And again, this is another nice chunk of area where I'll run into bugs. I'll run into cool things I learned about Next.js. And that's another topic idea, right? For example, let's say I learned about router dot refresh here and I'm playing around with Next.js. Like that's a whole video I can make in 10 minutes and edit it down and just kind of share some good piece of information with you all. Or let's say I run into some really weird obscure bug with Next.js. Again, that's another, that's another piece of content I can make for you all. So that's kind of how my idea generation goes. If now, granted, if it's like a longer video, like a sponsor video or tutorial video, I do do a ton of research beforehand. Like I'll spend hours before understanding their services, learning their services, trying to figure out how am I going to make a nice coherent package video that kind of showcase the sponsored um, video company. So those take a lot more time because if they're paying me money, I want to make sure I'm actually like doing it correctly. But for the most part, I've been coding for 10 years. So a lot of this stuff, I just shoot off the hip, right? These are things that I've been doing for so long that if I 
can't like talk confidently about these topics, then I don't know what I've been doing at work for the past 10 years, right? You should at some point be able to, I wouldn't consider myself an expert, but I do have a lot of confidence in the things that I know and being able to talk about those things and deliver those, I think is something that you just grow into over time. All right. Well, I hope this helps someone out there who maybe does content creation and watches my videos and, you know, wonders how do I manage to get a video out every day? This is basically my technique. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Other than that, have a good day and happy coding.